Lab 10, Gas Permeability Measurement. In the last lab, we learned how to measure liquid permeability. However, gas permeability needs the Klinkenberg correction. When liquid flows through tubes, the velocity profile is maximum at the center of the tubes and zero at the wall due to viscous forces. This does not happen with gas flowing at low pressures. The gas molecules are in constant motion traveling back and forth, a distance called the mean free path. When the pressure is low, the mean free path distance is large enough so that no gas molecules will collide against the walls during some small periods of time. This effect reduces the friction loss at the wall, increasing the ease with the, with the gas flows through the tube. The same effect occurs in the porous space of a rock, and as a consequence, measured permeability appears to be higher than it really is. As pressure is increased, the mean free path of the gas mole molecules becomes smaller and more molecules collide with the wall, increasing the friction losses and the measured permeability tends to be the true absolute permeability. The objective of today's lab is to measure the permeability of rock samples using a gas permeameter and to apply the Klinkenberg effect corrections to obtain the absolute permeability. The equipment we're going to use today is the gas permeameter, the core holder, a pump, nitrogen tanks, and then calibers. The first thing that we're going to do is take our sample out of the oven after the water has been vaporized at 100 degrees Celsius. The second thing we're going to do is turn on the power for each of the instruments. On the computer, we're going to open WinPerm. And then we're also going to open rose mount. In both the lower and the upper rose mount screens, we want to click get, and then monitor pressure, and then get, and monitor pressure. After we do that, we'll measure the dimensions of each core using the calipers, and remember to take the three readings of the length and the diameter respectively and average them. Now we're going to place the sample in the core holder and assemble the connections, which has already been done for us. We'll also place the effective combining pressure at 400 PSI. Then we'll go back onto the computer, click on WinPerm, then File, then New, and input your file name. Then we want to change the temperature to Fahrenheit, the units to inches, and the depth units to feet, and then we'll click OK. After we click OK, it will bring us to this tab. We want to insert our sample ID, the length of our core, the diameter of our core, the bar pressure, the temperature, the number of pressure measurements, the combining pressure, and then we want to choose Klinkenberg in this drop down menu, and then finally click Measure Permeability. Now we're going to open the gas tank and adjust the pressure using the adjustment knob to the desired test pressure on the gauge. We want to increase our confining pressure to 400 PSIA, and then our coordinates do not change too much anymore. Now that we're done, we want to print screen and save the figure. And then once we do that, we'll go back to WinPerm and click Proceed to Next Pressure. Repeat the steps 8 through 11 for the next pressure pressure and do at least four pressures. Then use Excel to analyze the data and give the absolute permeability for the sample.